Welcome to Pavlov's House, The Battle of Stalingrad. I'm going to fire up a playthrough of this interesting and challenging solitaire game from DVG Games, and I hope you'll join along for the ride here on Legendary Tactics. Now, I've played a few games of this. I'm by no means uh, an expert. <laughs> um, I'm beginning to kind of tease out some of the strategies uh, that I've come across in the game. One of the um, early strategies I like to do is to get some anti-aircraft up and running. Um, and actually, if I can, to maintain that throughout the, the, um, the, the game, if I can keep a full complement of, art of artillery up and running, um, I, or, or sorry, uh, anti-aircraft up and running, I think that's a great uh, goal to have. Um, and uh, to reinforce early, and specifically, um, I like to get a machine gun up, up and running. Now, the heavy machine gun is fine. Um, it has, gets, uh, it costs an extra um, point, though, and you get an extra suppression marker, which is great. Um, however, uh, I think as an early game move, I think just getting um, a machine gun you know, out there, maybe with a, a couple of other uh, regular troops, um, Kiselev Kisel, and uh, Sarayev, you have to forgive my pronunciation, and just get those, uh, you know, those guys uh, in the in the game there. So um, when I'm up against three bombs, I feel it's probably worth just uh, spending two anti-aircraft markers on that. Um, yeah, and about average time, you're going to block about half of them anyway. So I lost a signal there. Um, and the green wall has been degraded and we have some riflemen turning up interestingly on the purple track um, so um, I'm a big fan of uh, of getting um, Pavlov uh, out there early uh, mainly because um, the you know it's it's great to have um, the um, have someone there that can uh, refresh some exhausted troops uh, quickly um, and getting the, all the commanders in the uh, in the house is always a good idea, I think. So, um, and uh, otherwise, just kind of initially, just spreading them out a little bit because I need Pavlov in there. I'll get the machine gun uh, ready to go next uh, next time. Um, and uh, so, what we'll do, we'll start just with attacking with the units I care less about, and we got it. Um, and we're gonna get a suppression marker. Um, in there. Suppression is one of those things I think um, is much more valuable than it seems at first. Uh, I think the more I, uh, the more I play this, the more that I think that it's um, something that is, is actually really a great, great uh, thing to do because, you know, if you can prevent a piece from even arriving, that is a huge deal. That saves you a lot of time and energy. And I think, you know, early on when you first play the game, you just want to like, you know, get through and wipe out the enemy troops. But I actually think it may, it may be actually far better to, um, you know, to do some suppression if you can. Um, so um, I'm going to take advantage. Uh, the sappers are not a card that matters yet. So uh, let's get some food. Uh, just a broad, broad uh, amount, a broad amount of supplies there. Get those over there. And got one left uh, so should we maybe get some uh, some reinforcements going yeah you know what I also think that getting the command units is also great if you can um, and begin to sort of set up your uh, your anti-tank group also um, because uh, if you can get the anti-tank unit you know at least into the reserves then um, when the armor does begin to appear, then you can uh, you can have the uh, the antidote there right away. So we're gonna try and block uh, this, and of course we miss completely. That's okay. It is what it is. This is a tough game. There's no question, and we lose another couple <laughs> couple spots. All right, so we're gonna have to do some recovery on that. Um, and uh, let's get the other commander in there. Um, or do we uh, get the machine gun? Well, actually, we can do both. So let's get uh, the commander uh, in here. We could put him on the radio. 
<clears throat> and then we'll get the machine gun. And I like putting the machine gun and the anti-tank on the two multicolored squares. I, that may be an obvious play, but um, I think that uh, obviously the more coverage that those can get, the better. Oh, and it wouldn't let me place my gun. I thought that was going to be free. So, okay. Um, so we're just going to attack and see if we can... Oh, lucky shot. Perfect. <clears throat> and this guy will command and uh, help uh... oh we can't uh, can we recover Pav oh we can recover Pavlov with the other commander that's neat I, I did not know that was a thing I thought that commanders couldn't uh, revive each other okay so we've got uh... oh jeez um... yeah Okay, well let's let's load up some supplies here, get some, uh, and deliver them in the same turn. Uh, I guess we'll f recover the uh, uh, the. Maybe I should have used the remove the fog of war, but that's fine. We'll just. Okay, so big attack. The green wall is degraded again. Uh, we've got no defense. This is why I, I really feel you got to build up your anti-aircraft if you can. It is so, so, so important to stop that bombing. If you can block it any way you possibly can, um, that's a great, it's a great idea. Um, okay, so we've got another scout on that side. <clears throat> so we're going to put the machine gun down. Uh, that's a no-brainer. And... Um, yeah, well, maybe we'll just do, uh, yeah, we'll just get a couple more uh, troops. I'm going to spread them out a little bit, though, and uh, make sure that we've got some guys ready for the whatever's going to appear on the red track, because that's always going to be your most common uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, issue there. So um, we're going to um, attack. Oh, let's see. Attack. And see if we can get that guy. We did. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to use uh, Pavlov to restore some of these guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I think I misread that thing uh, last time. Um, just getting the recover exhausted. So that was my misreading of it. Anyway, it's it's fine. It's not, not the end of the day. Not the end of the world here. So we're going to recover one of these. And we're going to build uh, the one anti-aircraft at least. And um, yeah, I'm just wondering whether we should. I think we're going to buttress the green wall and get that back up because that's uh, the wall uh, can be tough. And we've just used up two food. We are ready for that. Jeez, I do not feel like I have a lot of anti-aircraft help here. Oh my gosh, that is not good. Uh, we got a disruption on our headquarters. That is not good. And we have some armor appearing. So this is not uh, not good, especially. So, um, all right. Well, there's not much we can do to stop that tank at the moment. So we'd kind of just have to hold our position. Um, yeah, you know, and maybe using the radio might be an opportunity here. But we'll... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just skip the movement. I don't see any real necessity in moving at the moment we'll recover Pavlov we'll recover this guy um, yeah, there's no target so um, yeah we can't uh, do a storm because our second 62nd army post is disrupted so um, yeah you know what there's nothing to do <laughs> there's nothing I can shoot at so okay all right, interesting. So we're gonna definitely get some anti-aircraft going here. We're going to fix the disruption marker on that because I don't want to lose the game. And uh, we'll put him in the two. We'll ready another anti-aircraft here. I feel like I'm rebuilding some infrastructure. Ah, green wall degraded again. And here we go. Let's see. Luckily, there's not a lot of uh, enemy infantry. We're gonna have a. Uh, attack on the red wall which of course succeeds um, but that's fine and uh, we've got some 
machine gunners uh, along the purple. So we're gonna spend that suppression marker and we blocked him. And that's where I, I really think that the suppression marker is, uh, is great. Um, it's gonna be very useful. I'm gonna put that, that anti-tank is going there anyway. So I'm going to, uh, well, as soon as I get a chance to get some reinforcements, that's what's gonna, gonna happen. Um, there's really nothing that I can do at the moment. Um, just sit tight and and uh, and wait because there's really no moves. Um, well, you know what? I guess I guess we can build up some suppression. Um, we'll do that, I guess. You know me as well, um, because if we can get some suppression up and running, then at least uh, that might help hold back the uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the crazy attacks that are going to happen. So, okay. So now, yes, now we're in a good spot. I like this. We'll build up the anti-aircraft. Now our signals are completely out of, uh, you know, out of uh, commission here. So I'm going to recover this one. I find the artillery is just so hard to get in, in play. Um, it really is tough, <laughs> I find. Um, anyway, we've got uh, the anti-tank and we can afford the good one and the good, uh, the inspiring gentleman for the uh, anti-tank team, um, which is going to be great. Um, and now we've got at least some opportunities to block the bombing, which is exactly what we need to see. And uh, the attack on the purple wall failed, so we're going to get uh, these guys in play here again don't see a huge necessity to move at the moment so let's uh, just sit tight here and uh, all right so we're going to use the uh, the anti tank and we got them that's perfect um, and we're gonna use some uh, command here to restore some people and that's perfect. So that was a pretty good turn. We got some good uh, stuff going on. I feel fairly, I don't want to say confident quite yet, but I feel pretty good. Again, we're going to ready the anti-aircraft uh, here. Um, and, geez, not really a lot. I suppose we can load the supplies. It feels like a bit of a waste, though. There's only couple of things there. I guess we'll deliver them just in case. We've got some food at least there just in case we run against a supply uh, card here. Well, blocked one of them. Ah, one of the Vol Volga flotillas goes down. Uh, the sniper. Um, we're going to pick this guy. I want our inspiring guy to get hit, but we have an anti, t uh, sorry, a first aid kit, so we're okay. Um, he's going to be exhausted though, which is not Good. Let's try and prevent this guy from coming in. We do not prevent. Nope. All right. So moves. Um, I guess we'll move uh, this guy over here. Um, and really, we've we've got everyone loaded up. I think so. I think we're all right uh, at the moment. We just need to make sure we've got uh, units able to fire on everyone and. Uh, yeah, that should be good. All right. I just, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess uh, it doesn't really matter so much with the the uh, the armor. We need to restore those anti-tank guys, get them ready. But other than that, there's no real moves necessary at the moment. So uh, we'll just fire with this guy, see if we can pick him off. We can't. Um, we're going to recover the exhausted marker here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll command, we'll restore the uh, anti-tank gun back to health. Um, all right, so um, at this point, oh, no anti-aircraft, <laughs> no anti so geez. Okay, well, um, I think what we'll, what we'll do is we'll recover the, the wire comms here. And we'll ship some supplies over. Uh, let's get uh, more food. Food is always welcome, obviously. Get some stuff over there. 
and reinforce. Um, we'll get some storm guys going here so we can add those guys to the storm group and uh, that'll be good. We want to be able to get those victory points if we can. We only need 10 so maybe even let's see maybe even though just those two storm guys might uh, be able to do it on their own. Oh purple is just going crazy we've suppressed him and yeah so we're okay so um i don't think we want to we're just going to keep those guys ready for the storm card i think um all right so we have to um begin to uh to sh shoot some of these guys here so let's uh yeah i don't yeah, I don't want to move quite yet. I think every, everyone's fine. Moving around inside the... Uh, I kind of have my ideal setup, so I don't know but what the advantage is to, to moving per se, but, um, but let's get uh, him out of there. And I should be using my machine guns for more suppression. I totally realize that. Uh, but uh, let's get this guy in the back. Missed him. Jeez. Okay. All right, um, so we'll uh, we'll repair the uh, flotilla, and now it's time to get some anti-aircraft up, uh, and we'll recover here. So we're gradually getting back into place here. Oh, we got some suppression, which failed, and we got another armor. So, um, all right, this is interesting. <clears throat> uh, should we move those guys in? I, uh, I'm going to just save them for the storm, I think. I think. Uh, no, no, not that guy anyway. He's a commander, so let's get that in there. Sorry, I don't know. I missed that. I should have had him in there earlier because it gives me an, more actions. But the moves are fine, I think. So uh, let's see. So... He's going to command these guys to, uh, oh no, I can't recover those guys. One, two, <clears throat> and is there anyone else there? Oh yes, yeah, sorry, Ken. Yeah, okay. And <clears throat> um, we're gonna shoot. Um, actually, maybe we should attack the armor here. Let's get this guy off the board and I believe that oh hang on no we have that extra action so let's see here what would be a good move here um, and maybe just attacking if we can get that guy in the front perfect okay now we're gonna have to shift the anti-tank over to the green uh, the green spot there and excellent so we have we can maximize our anti-aircraft which is a great spot for things to be um actually we'll do this card <clears throat> and let's see here um can we do a storm uh da -da -da -da. Oh, the track isn't clear. That's what we need to do. Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> um, so we'll load up some supplies, I guess. Um, just a nice balanced approach. And, yeah. and we're insufficient food. So we have to choose three soldiers that will not receive any action, any rations, sorry, I should say. All right, that's unfortunate. She's bad timing on that one for sure. Uh, oh well. And we've got plenty of anti-air, which is great. Oh, of course they don't do anything. Jeez. Ah. <clears throat> uh, not good. Not good. Wow, that was unfortunate. Okay. So. Um, 
Yeah, you know, my key guys are kind of exhausted here, so uh, let's get this guy over to this side. We're gonna see if we can <clears throat> pull off a bit of a switcheroo here. We need the anti-tank gun over on the other side, but everyone needs to be fully rested. <laughs> this is the problem. So, um, so we're gonna command this guy. We're gonna get them fully rested. And over here, we'll get this guy fully rested. And they're going to be in a position to do a switcheroo next turn, which is great. I'm going to recover this commander, and I'm going to attack. Ah, terrible. Oh, and we've got one more action. Let's try and take out that soldier there and failed again. Brutal. Okay. So we're going to restore the, uh, the anti-aircraft. We're going to deliver the supplies. Nothing to write home about, um, but um, yeah, maybe do we bring in some reinforcements? Um, I think not yet. I'll, I'm going to recover the, the comms here and see what I can get. Ah, oh, disrupted the stack. Ah, oh, there goes my anti-tank stack disrupted. Darn it. And another couple tanks. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe we should build up another machine gun stack there. And Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, okay. Um... We really need the anti-tank gun over there. This is where it gets really, uh, really challenging. It's when you have the... Everything's great until things start messing up. <laughs> and then it's... Then it's a disaster. Um, okay, so let's... Let's use a command. It's just too bad I have to use them on this... On this guy here. Um, let's rest up him. Pavlov's been exhausted for a while. Um, yeah, there's nothing for him to shoot at. Um, I'm going to recover him as well and recover him as well. I think getting the, the leaders in place is really, really key if you, if you can swing it. Um, for sure, it's a great uh, thing to do. Um, okay, we've got decent anti-aircraft up and running. I'm going to start uh, placing some... Jeez. Oh, Got to get more supplies there. Okay, next next time. Um, okay. I'm going to try and... Ah, suppression failed. Machine gun spotted. Tank spotted. This is where it begins to get really nasty. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move these guys over here. And I think I'm fine with that guy there. And yeah, I don't I don't really see a bad <laughs> bad spot right now. Okay. Okay, well forget storming. We just gotta get some hits here. We're down to the absolute last why the last little bit here <laughs> in terms of what we're able to do. Gotta take out that armor. We did, fortunately. That buys us a bit of time. And uh, let's see about. Ah, jeez. Um, I guess we'll machine gun this guy. And... All right. So we bought ourselves a bit of time on that front, but it is not looking great. Um, let's uh, we'll do a field defense in that spot there. See if we can take out. Uh, Take out someone. I'm going to recover my anti aircraft and I'm going to resupply some food. Uh, we're fine for ammo. We just need food. I'm going to do three food because I need to get all that food over. Scouts have appeared. Great. Okay, and then we're getting some suppression. Fail. Ah, oh, suppression. Jeez. Green walls degraded. Red wall failed, and there's no enemy armor on the... Oh, jeez, the purple wall gets 
trashed. And uh, yeah, so as I'm playing this, like if you guys have any suggestions on what I might uh, on what I might do here, um, obviously please feel free to make suggestions uh, in the comments down below. And while you're there, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, we'd love to love to hear from you there. Movement wise, not much I can do or am willing to do at the moment. Um, we need to stop the, oh, come on guys. Uh, command, let's get the anti-tanks rested up again. And uh, one of the machine gunners and let's attack, try and take out that guy, good. Well, at least relieves the pressure a little bit. And we're gonna recover this other leader here. Oh, great, two fogs of war, wonderful. Um, okay, well, we got my anti-aircraft ready. Um, and I guess we'll get some artillery ready. Maybe this would be a good time to get some forward guys. Uh, oh, geez, um, I'm gonna use up three, blocked all of them and building is degraded again yeah so i'm using up a lot of my uh, uh anti-aircraft there but i think it is for a worthy cause <laughs> so all right uh movement um no real movement required at the moment just trying to stave off the uh incredible pressure so we're going to do a command. We're going to bring uh, the machine gun back online. We're going to bring uh, him and him back online. That's a good use of it. We're going to recover the disrupted guy. And we're going to recover his exhaustion. Oh, and I still got an action. But can I actually do anything with that action? Uh, not really. I think everyone's kind of used up. So next phase. Hmm. Okay. More fog of war. Great. Uh, we'll get some more. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get some more anti-aircraft ready with uh, this this card. We'll get some reinforcements in. Now that we've got a you know, a uh, an actual artillery up and running. Maybe it's worth uh, getting a uh, getting another um, uh, you know another guy in there to help out with that. And fog of war, perfect. Attack in the green wall succeeded. So great, everyone's disrupted on that side. Ah, uh, just. Oh, and the red wall's down too. Jeez. And there's a sniper. Luckily, I've got a first aid kit to help him out. Oh my gosh, this is beginning to really be an issue. <laughs> so, um, okay, so we're going to put uh, the forward guy in, maybe hopefully to really cause some, uh, some damage. And... Uh, Get the uh, units down there, which is great. Um, I think that's everything we need to do there. I don't see any other moves at the moment. Okay, let's call in Forward Observer. Finally, we get to do some damage here. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's get him in target one. And, uh, geez, that guy's, oh, we can only do one target. Oh, sorry, there's target two, sorry. Okay, fire. Nice, we wiped them out. That's uh, really effective. It's pretty hard to, uh, to get those forward observers going because it's just, I mean, to fight off the air raids, um, you just need to, you know, get those in motion and get them working so now that that's in place that's actually not so bad okay um 
so we're going to uh geez we've got to recover some disrupted guys here especially on the anti-tank front and we're going to just take a pot shot at this guy see if we can get him oh darn it just missed more fog of war all right so we're going to remove the fog of war and actually this is good we're going to load up some food and deliver that food just in case it's necessary oh perfect timing just in time we got that food there perfect and we've got some more armor arriving but we've got oh geez okay i need some luck with that uh with my rolls on that side of things oh my gosh this is uh a bit of a mess um okay so um we're going to uh yeah, we just have to hold the line. I can't see any other way of doing it right now. So we'll just uh, hold the line with... Uh... Oh, sorry, I think it's uh, misunderstood me. Yes, we're going to... Okay, so we're going to use uh, Pavlov to command. We're going to recover um, a bunch of guys here. Um, and we're going to attack the armor here. Ah, oh, jeez. Should have shot at the other one. Just want to get that guy off, off my list, though. That's the problem. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. Um, okay, we're going to recover the disrupted on that guy. So we got our machine gun back in order. Oh, okay. Maybe we can get some more supplies over. This is good. This is good. Uh, we'll deliver those supplies. I really like, if I can, delivering those supplies right away because it is super, super uh, handy. Um, and, jeez, oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try buttressing the wall here. Uh, green wall. Yeah, you almost have too many things to do. It's really, you know, hard to decide what to do, if anything. Oh, that was good. Block three bombs. Oh, jeez. Oh, there goes my forward observer and my anti-aircraft. Oh, that is not good. They mentioned this is a tough game. Okay. Um, movement. Uh, there's really no need to move at the moment. Um, everyone's more or less in the position that I like them. Um, okay, so we're going to attack here, and we managed to take him out, which is great. Um, we're going to... Where's my commander? Command. Going to recover some guys. Oh, I guess we can't. Um, this may be a bit... Uh, let's get Pavlov back in order. We'll get uh, we'll get him uh, recovering his disrupted. Ah, all right, we've got our supplies now, so let's get uh, get an anti-aircraft up and running. That's our only opportunity there. Ah, jeez. All right, we'll resupply, I guess. Okay, that's good. Get them to the staging area. And we'll reinforce. Um, all right, well, the forward unit now is kind of useless. <laughs> so um, do we get another anti-tank guy? Yeah, sure. We can do that, I guess. Yeah, they, I like the anti-tank guns. They're great, but they do take two actions to pull off, and that's going to be a problem. Ah, oh, disrupted him again. That guy's in a weak spot there. Oh, my gosh. We are totally under pressure. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get the anti-tank gun in that spot. And anyone else that needs to move? No, not really. So, uh, two moves remaining. Uh, yeah, 
maybe we'll ah jeez um no i can't i needed to free up that space so no i think we're good um yeah it's just it's a it's a bit of a challenge just trying to figure out how to move that guy away so i could make room for um, the machine gunner or someone to help take out <laughs> take out some guys we're going to attack the armor here we're going to go for the ones with the better odds we miss we're going to go for the one with the better odds we oh we got him good so at least that helped out all uh, right um i'm going to try recovering this because i think that that is a good a good thing um we can only resupply i guess now, staging area is very full, and the Fog of War cards are beginning to take their toll. And this could be the end here, if we're not careful. <laughs> this is why it's, you know, a good idea to get the, the suppression markers up if you possibly can. All right, no one to move in reserves. Everyone's exhausted. It's been a long battle. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just... Uh, all right, we're going to use uh, Pavlov's command ability to re rest and restore uh, some of these guys uh, here. And he's going to recover. He's back online. He's going to... Oh, maybe we need to do a um, machine gun attack on that guy. Jeez. Not, this is getting a bit tough here. Huh. Um, I guess we're going <laughs> to remove the fog of war. Oh, it recovers that guy, which is fine. Yeah. I'm going to put an anti-aircraft in there again, just in case. Jeez. Ah! Got one first aid kit available, just enough. And this is where we get a bunch of suppression going down to the green wall, the red wall, the purple wall. Jeez. Every, yeah, everything's getting slowly crushed here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be around here much longer. I got uh, just had a bunch of my guys wiped out. So unfortunate. And a lot of people disrupted, so um, uh, movement-wise, movement, uh, no, I mean, not, I guess I can move him over here. Um, I don't know how that helps things, but sure, um, yeah. So, yes, as I said, very tough game. I am losing very badly with score-wise and otherwise. Um, I'm holding them off for what it's worth, but that's not really saying a lot. I did get that, that tank, but I've got a, I'm still trying to build up enough guys to storm here. That's the ridiculous part. You know, ready an artillery here. Maybe get the chance to use that. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. This is not good. There's going to be a bunch of suppressions and eliminations and lots of walls being blown up. Oh, jeez. My entire position on that side is completely crumbled. Oh, jeez. And I lost my uh, my reinforcement space. Jeez. Oh my gosh, not good. And I got a bunch of leftover weapons and no one to use them. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is kind of crushing. I won't lie. This is uh, this is a bit of a challenge. Um, okay, so we're gonna get a command from him. We're gonna restore these three guys. Um, he's gonna recover and he's going to attack 
the red. And it's a minor defeat. <laughs> so there you go. Wasn't as bad, I guess. <laughs> Negative 16. Anyway, that was uh, not the not the best game. I think things uh, I was holding things together. Um, I should have used the weaponry for more suppression markers. I think that would have been a very good call uh, to keep the uh, the units away. I think that's a very key part of the defense. Um, and uh, there was some things I did well, some things I didn't do so well. Um, but uh, anyway, it was a it was an interesting game, and this is a great challenge. Uh, I'm amazed they have uh, options to make it harder because it's definitely not an easy game. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Hope this was interesting for you and hope you got a lot out of it. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you have better luck here in Pavlov's house. Take care.